Hi, I'm Professor Steve Keen, and I want to show you how you can use my software package Minsky, now called Ravel, to prove, not just to explore, but to prove the basic uh, principles of modern monetary theory. And to know that, you have to understand double entry bookkeeping, and that's what uh, Minsky provides, now called Ravel, uh, which no other program on the planet does provide. So this is, I think, is essential for anybody who wants to uh, establish MMT or even challenge it to see uh, how they can show to other people that it actually makes logical sense. So what you're seeing over here is the, uh, the basic interface of Ravel. And uh, I, can, I can ignore most of the program at the moment. You, you don't need to know that to just show how modern monetary theory is correct about how government money is created. You simply click on this icon here, which as you can see looks like a bank. And the idea is that is a, a double entry bookkeeping view of a, a particular agent in an economy. You place it on the canvas and then you start defining. And everything in Ravel, virtually everything, uh, runs off a right-click menu. So if you have a <coughs> two-button mouse, click the right-hand button and you'll get these options here. Uh, open, godly table, title, etc., etc. I'm going to title this one The Banking Sector. So what we're going to see here is the banking sector's view of the economy. And uh, I'm going to also change the view right now because, <coughs> pardon me, in the early days of Ravel, we, uh, we, did, we, didn't, we, we didn't enable seeing your double entry bookkeeping view of an entity on the canvas. Now we can. So if you change to editor mode, you see what uh, is up on the screen here. And I'm going to open up the Godly table. You can name it Godly after Win Godly. And this is what you see. I'll just drag this out a bit further. And what we are doing with, with Ravel, Minsky, is uh, implementing what accountants invented over a half a about 500 years ago now, uh, the foundations of pr proper accounting, which is double entry bookkeeping, which makes sure that every transaction is recorded properly. The mafia uses double entry bookkeeping. They have two sets of books, one they show to the uh, authorities and one they keep for themselves. So even the crime syndicates use uh, double entry bookkeeping to keep track of what they're doing. And the way this was originally done uh, was uh, that you would use uh, debit and credit entries uh, to record your uh, transactions. And the rule was that you had to have a, a debit and a credit on every row. And there were particular rules about how you define something as a debit, as a credit. So I'll quickly show that because that's what frankly tortures so many young students of accounting and we've worked out an easier way to do it. So let's say I've got, uh, I'll, I'll, in terms of assets here, I'll put uh, reserves as an asset of the banking system. And I'm going to just have uh, two types of deposits. I'm going to have buyer deposits and I'm going to add an extra row, uh, column here, clicking on the plus button to create an extra liability and I'll call this seller. So if you then have a transaction between a buyer and a seller, let's put, let's, let's put a certain amount of money in their account. So let's say 100 in the buyer and uh, 200 in the seller, and Minsky makes sure that your row, everything must sum to zero across the row. So it's saying, well, if you've got 100 in, in the buyer and 200 in the seller, and say 50 in the net worth of the bank, and I'm going to define this column here as the banks, and underscore E, well, let's actually spell it out completely, E-Q-U-I-T-Y, -E equity, and uh, uh, Minsky will now show that <coughs> subscript below the word banks. This is bank's equity. So I've got a total of 350. Um, Minsky then says, well, actually, you, 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 your row doesn't balance yet. You've got to have 350. It's a positive somewhere else, so I type that in, and now the row is correct. Now, if you imagine uh, buyer, uh, buying something, doesn't matter what, uh, then what you do is, well, there's going to be money taken out of the buyer's account. And let's say this is, uh, I'm going to put, uh, put uh, numbers here but I'm going to cheat and put the pound symbol beforehand so that it's, say, not 20 pounds coming out of that account. Ravel says at the moment, well, you've got a, uh, your sum is not yet zero here, so you've got a minus here, and you're going to have a plus over here. And now if I come back to the uh, window here, you can show that shown as debit and credit, which is the standard way that accountants work. Now, anybody who studied accounting know how, knows how difficult it is to learn those rules and apply them properly. So what we use instead 
is simply say I've just used plus and minus as I actually did to define it in that pop-up window there. So I'm going to go back to the plus and minus format and now we'll see plus and minus on the screen there. So that's the basics of uh, double entry bookkeeping. That's what we use and in the uh, next video, and these very short videos, I'll show you how you use that to model government money creation.